Hi, I'm Jenny Carlson with The Oklahoman. There was a day back in December that I'll long remember. The Oklahoma football team was having its pre-bowl season press conference and Curtis Lofton was talking about anything anyone asked him. That included the NFL. He had yet to declare for the draft, but as the linebacker fielded questions about the NFL, he had the weirdest look on his face. It was either disbelief or wonder. I finally asked him what was up. Lofton said that he really couldn't believe he was sitting there talking about being an NFL draft pick. He explained it this way. Just being from Kingfisher, a little small town, and being able to actually think about going to the NFL is just kind of astonishing. Lofton isn't thinking about going to the NFL anymore. He's actually going. The Atlanta Falcons picked Lofton in the second round of this weekend's draft, and folks in Georgia are talking about him being the heir apparent to Keith Brooking. All that Brooking has done over the past decade is anchor the Falcon defense. Lofton has yet to play a down in the NFL, and yet he's already started living out a dream. And you know what? I can't help but be pleased as punch for the guy. On a weekend when it's easy to get wrapped up in the big money being thrown at young men or the out-of-control hype machine spitting out one superlative after another, Lofton is a guy who's easy to be happy for. He's a small-town guy who works hard and keeps his nose clean. I haven't had a chance to talk to Lofton since he was drafted Saturday, but I did see him at Mark Clayton's charity event a few weeks ago. He was running in the same circles with NFL types that weekend, and he still had some of that awe in his eyes. The wonder was there just like that December press conference. Here's hoping Lofton takes that attitude with him to the NFL. Enjoying the ride is never a bad way to go. I'm Jenny Carlson with The Oklahoman.